Hello everyone, myself is Prakash and you are watching Fundamentals of Python. In today's video, we are going to discuss two of the very common data structures in Python, that is tuple and list. Uh, there are more data structures in Python as well, such as set and dictionary, but uh, annex and so on. But we'll discuss them later on in the course. Okay, so this, before we start, I want to tell you guys that this is the fourth uh, episode in uh, our series for of uh, Python for beginners. And this is going to the fourth episode in that series. So do check out the other three ones as well. Uh, we have discussed everything from starting, from setting our project to everything. Yeah, so let's get started. So we have this tuple here and list. Let me show you how tuple is spelled out. So T-U-P-L-E is how tuple is spelled out and L-I-S-T is how list is spelled out. As you can see, these are the keywords in the Python. So we cannot use them as a variable to uh, assign values. So as you can see, there are multiple elements. First, we have one and every element has to be separated by comma. So uh, this is the first element. This is the sec second element. This is the third element. The world, this whole is the fourth element. This list, which we see, yes, we can hold a list within the tuple as well. And this is the um, uh, fifth element. This is the sixth element. And similarly, in the list, we have a box bracket. It has to be contained within the box bracket. And we can see 12, 12 is the first element, 15 is second element, hello third. And then finally, we have a list within list. So here in tuple, we have a list within tuple and a tuple within tuple. In list, we have a list within list. So let's see uh, what are the properties we can apply on these two data structures. Uh, tuple uh, can, be, can have, um, as we can see, all the sorts of data structures, even sets they can contain, which we have not discussed. So there's no point including them. Even dictionaries they can contain. Uh, similarly, lists can contain the same things, but one major thing, but one major difference between tuple and list is that tuple is non mutable, whereas list is mutable a lot of time you might be asked this question what is uh, mutable and what is non-mutable and which one is which so uh, you can just say tuple is mutable and list is uh, tuple is non-mutable and list is mutable mutable simply means we can change it can mutate non-mutable means it cannot mutate so that in this in so with context to this, we can say tuple is more restricted, whereas uh, list is more uh, loose, uh, uh, loosely defined, uh, not loosely defined, but it has more flexibility. All right. So also one of these prop one of the properties common to uh, uh, these two data structures is like we can in index the values of these data structures in these data structures and then mm, uh, 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 re retrieve those values. So let me tell you what I mean by indexing. So this is at the, the one is at the zeroth index. Uh, let me separate one. One is at the zeroth index, two is at the first index, three is at the second, world is at the third. And this is at the fourth index. This is at the sixth. Index. Although these are there are a total of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six elements, but the uh, index of the last element is five because we are starting from the zero. All right. Similarly, in list as well. So if I check, if I try to do the, if I try to check the length uh, using inbuilt function len of p you will see it will turn out to be six but but if i try to check the uh, print 
dot index of I have to give the value then now this is the last index this is the last element so let's check this index so I need to go and give this value here okay so let's print these two values so the length we got five but the last element is at the index fifth because as I told you the first element is holding index zero so it starts from zero but on the same time length is going to be uh, six not five yeah so this is something you have to keep in mind also this the same thing is holds true for uh, list as well if we do the same thing we will get the similar results remember we uh, this length function which is an inbuilt function which takes the um, parameter as any data type uh, data structure and gives out the length uh, similarly index is is the function which takes two argument uh, uh, sorry which is uh, used against uh, with the help of dot operator and uh, it has to be operated with the, um, any of the a list or tuple or also the dictionary and so on so we can get the index of the particular um, uh, value or element within a data structure for example tuple list dictionary set let's try to see the let's try to see how we can get the values by indexing by using the index system so in T, I'm going to retrieve the value of, uh, let's say world. So I'm going to say uh, print within print function, I'm going to say print T of the index of world. I, since I want to print world, so I need to save index of world. So what is the index of world? It's starting from zero one two and three so if i say three it will give me the result as world the output would be the world okay. this screen cls enter and yeah so we got world as the output now since we have understood this much uh it's time to understand really what mutability means okay If I want to change the, uh, there are two things uh, in mutability. One thing is you can, since a list is a mutable, that therefore I'll take list as an example to explain the mutability and non-mutability I'll take example to explain uh, the T. All right, so in list, we can add a element. We can use append function to add an element, you can index an element. These index, you can use the index of these elements and change the values. This is possible uh, in mutable data structures. And these is these are these these things are not possible in non-mutable data structures such as tuple. Okay, so. I'll give you guys a homework to test out whether uh, based on these criteria to test out whether string is a uh, mutable or not. Okay, so let's try to understand mutability and non-mutability into more uh, detail. So let's say, as I said, I can change the value, this value 15, 12, hello, by indexing it which is possible in mutable data structure but it, this is not possible in non-mutable data structure types so let's take less list for example so l of i'm trying to change 12 to 10 so 12th is a 0th position so l of 0 i'm saying turn it into 10 so and then i'm going to print l
So instead of getting 12 here, we are getting 10. As you can see in the result, instead of getting 12, we are getting 10. But similar, similar thing if we try to do uh, with T, if I try to change 0th element of the T, which is 1 to 10, this won't be possible. Here I have to print T and quickly clear the screen. We'll get an error. So tuple object does not support item assignment. This is again because it's not mutable. We cannot mutate. We cannot change the tuple. It is as it is. And then what about if we try to change a value within this list of the tuple, whether it is possible? It's confusing here, yeah, right? So let's see what is what what we can do. So first we have to target that uh, element, and it is at zero, one, two, three, fourth position. So T of four will give us that list. And if we try to just to make sure that we are grabbing the right element, we can do print. P of 4 should get this list, result as a list. So do we did get the list, that means this is at the right index which we uh, calculated. So now uh, we don't have to do the print thing, we just want to change the this fourth uh, element. So how do we change, oh, let's say we want to change uh this element five the element five of this list and element five we can see it's at the index second of this list because it's starting from zero three is at zeroth index of this list four is at uh, first index of this list and five is at uh, second index of this list and list and this list is at the one, two, three, four, one, two, zero, one, two, three, and four. Fourth index of this tuple, this list is, and that is why T4. Now we have T4, that is this list. Within this list, we want to get the, the element five. So element five is residing at the index second of this list. So how? Because we start from zero. So zero one two so how do we get that element so t of four will give me the list and the list of two that is second index that is zero one two will give me the fifth element let's try to see what we get can you sim simply use the print function close it full we'll save Sorry. So we got five. So this is the five which we are getting. Now let's try to change this as we change 12 to 10. Or as we try to change one to 10, but this was not allowed. Uh, the reason being uh, it is a non mutable. But now at this moment, we are dealing, the moment we gave T of 4, we are dealing with a list. Now, list is property will be applied here. So, we can say is equal to 50 and 50 will be assigned here within the list and we will get output as 50 when we try to print the T. So, let's see, let's see that. As you can see, instead of 5, we got 50, the, uh, the uh, value which we tried to assign. Rest is same. But previously, when we tried to uh, change the value of uh, 
but previously when we try to change the value of uh, one uh, we could not do it said uh, in tuple we cannot do the assignment in uk we cannot use the index to assign the values so that means this tuple is non-mutable but when we index when we index any list within the tuple that list can be mutable because list to the properties of list will be applied on to this list if i try to change the list itself if i try to say list itself change to 50 that means i want to remove this list and turn it to 50 what would happen uh this would give me a result as error again because again this is an element of tuple not the list five was the element of list that's why we were able to change it so this is again we can test it out we are again going to get error as this tuple object does not support item assignment all right so uh enough with this uh, and yeah this thing always remember to index it seems like a tuple thing box bracket but uh, it works for both for for list and tuples okay so um let's get rid of this okay so since t is non-mutable we cannot uh, index any element and change its value we cannot uh, add any value we don't have any append fun method working on it we don't have any push method working on it we don't have any insert method working on it so how do we add a value to this uh, tuple there is a way we can do the concatenation we will have to assume one more tuple t2 is equal to now uh, again if i say uh, 1 comma 2 comma 3 and then t1 plus t2 and i say z is equal to t1 plus t2 sorry not t1 uh, just t plus t2 and then print z We'll see we can concatenate it okay so at the end this one two three got concatenated to t till here we had already the values we already had till here but at the end now we have this value uh, concatenated okay so uh, this is the only way through which we can add an element uh, to tuple or the other way is to turn this tuple into the list and then add a value that method we'll look into the next video uh, and also some of the key features of uh, key fundamental um, methods uh, which which are inbuilt methods or functions uh, which can be applied onto this uh, list we'll also explore those in the next video so thanks for watching for now guys